Progress Corticon is a business rules management system that provides a comprehensive platform to model, analyze, test, and deploy business rules. The Progress Corticon suite comprises two products, Corticon Studio and Corticon Server. Corticon Studio is the development environment for modeling, analyzing, and testing business rules. Corticon Server is the server environment where rules are deployed as decision services. In this video, you will get a quick tour of Corticon and how it can be used to automate your business rules. In any business, you have rules that define how the business operates. These could be how to price an insurance policy based on information about the applicant, or how to determine that someone has met the certification process for their profession. With Corticon, you can capture these rules to ensure they are correctly applied in your business operations. Take the case of an online retailer. They may have rules for determining how to price an order, such as the rebates or discounts to apply. When starting a rules project, one of the first things you'll do is identify the data that will be used by the rules. For our online retailer, we'll have entities such as customer and order with attributes like total amount and membership type. In Corticon, you represent the data model for your application in a Corticon vocabulary. A vocabulary allows you to define the entities, attributes, data types, constraints, and relationships for the data that will be used by your rules. Here is the vocabulary for our online retailer example. The customer entity represents a customer and has attributes like name and address. The order entity represents a customer's order and has attributes like total amount, order date, and discount. An item entity represents an item in the order and has attributes such as name and unit price. Relationships between business terms are represented through associations in the vocabulary. For example, a customer has a one-to-many association with order, and an order has a one-to-many association with item. With your vocabulary defined, you can now begin to define rules. In Corticon, rules are captured within a rule sheet. A Corticon rule sheet enables you to easily define the conditions and actions that represent your business rules. Here is a rule sheet in our online retailer example. As you can see, the rule sheet user interface is similar to a spreadsheet. You can think of a rule as an if-then statement with conditions and actions. If all the conditions are satisfied, then the actions are performed. You use terms from the vocabulary when you model rules. Our online retailer example has four rules that determine a discount percentage for an order based on the customer's membership type and the order total. An order total less than $50 has a 0% discount. An order total equal to or greater than $50 has a 10% discount for gold members, and so on. Corticon Studio provides a number of analytical utilities that you can use to check for logical conflicts, completeness, unintended loops, and hidden dependencies. Once your rules are defined, you can test them before deployment using a Corticon rule test. You can define input data for a range of test scenarios. You can then compare the output of the rule test with expected results. If your rule model is complex, you can break it into multiple rule sheets and easily link them together in a rule flow. This enables you to modularize your rule logic, making your rules easier to maintain. You can reuse a rule sheet in multiple rule flows. You can also add branching to a rule flow. Just like rule sheets, you can check a rule flow for conflicts and completeness and test it using a rule test. Once your rule model is tested, it is ready to be deployed to Corticon's server as a decision service. Corticon gives you flexibility in how you deploy your rules. For fastest response, you can deploy a decision service in process by calling it from within a Java or .NET application. Or, you can deploy a decision service as a web service and call it using SOAP or REST. This completes our quick tour of Corticon. To learn more about rule modeling, take the basic rule modeling tutorial.